testing. All right, guys. So here we got uh, Houston's uh, Razor, aka Grim Turtle, teaming with Sassy from Austin, Rob and Bayonetta, and we got A uh, and M's mic effect going as classic Ness, and uh, he's teaming with a Link player uh, that he knew from the, the Brawl days. Um, and here we're starting off strong. Uh, well, it's pretty even right now. Sassy definitely putting on that pressure with the um, with this projectile game, uh, the gyro. Oh, oh my God! Wow! And that takes both of them. All right, if Bayonetta can keep this stock, they can definitely uh, have a lead right now. Oh wow! Uh, Razor trying to uh, get the witch time. Oh, and that's gonna take it. Bayonetta, um, she's pretty light. And especially Smashville getting back thrown at the ledge uh, by Ness. Definitely gonna take an early stock. Oh, all right. So here, so we see Grim Turtle trying to do uh, the combo right off the top. The infamous combo to deer to death. Bassy, uh just staying in, in grabs, just like really not mashing out. Oh my God, the trade. The sour spot uh, of Rob's air traded with the PK cannon. All right, so we got green team in the lead, uh, stock-wise. Oh, nice by uh, Grim Turtle. All right, are we gonna see some Wombo combos? And that should take it. All right, so we got red team in the lead, stock-wise. Uh, Mike effect definitely putting on the pressure on Rob uh, at the ledge. All right, there the red team is definitely. Oh my God! And he almost got this ear to death. Oh, that's that was risky covering high. Oh wow! If they're able to take out Rob right now, it will be a two v one situation. Oh, and that's gonna take it, unfortunately. Nice, uh, team combo. Forward, what was the ball throw into Rob's uh, reboot? Really it could have gone either way. It could have been a 2v1 situation, and that's, you know, that, that's never good. So we're staying characters and we're taking it to Battlefield. This is a um, this is a stage. No one really has advantage over anyone because um, the blast zones are pretty far apart. Sitting high, uh, the horizontal blast zones are pretty far. All right, we see Mike definitely uh, putting on the pressure right now against uh, Razor. Oh wow, nice, uh, yo yo, wow, Mike going deep. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Um, the thing with Bayonetta, if you keep your second jump, all right guys, uh, we're about to go play. They can hold us. How's it going guys? We got uh, Sam here, I'm on the mic now. Uh, Psych had to leave, she had to go got called for a match actually puts me on the mic uh, I'm actually the tech guy here so uh, my commentation may not be too A plus but can't win everything you just saw Bayonetta hitting that good witch time hits a witch time on PK PK Thunder 2 uh, causing him to slow that recovery they didn't get any punish on it 
Quick little team combo into that forward or that back throw, I believe. Gonna have Ness doing his damage to Bayonetta. Bayonetta is like a weird, very like weighted floaty, kind of like Sheik, uh, where at like below percentages, like unlike like low, ooh, top combos, um, but low percentages, Bayonetta will actually like pretty much always be able to be comboed. The high percentages where she dies pretty early kind of makes up for the fact that she's very strong, very combo based character. Got Link off to the side here. Oh, it doesn't quite make it to the ledge. Not wouldn't make. I actually had to clench my throat there. I got kind of nervous. For him. Another witch time coming out on those upraiders. He's got to be careful with his aerial game. It's getting a little predictable, and Bayonetta is definitely calling him out right now with those witch times. Stutter. Excuse me. Sorry for the stutter. Um, Bayonetta is going in for the zero to death, but Ness at 85 is not going to have it. He'll be out of it pretty easily. That's a strong dash attack coming in from Link. He'll hit that. Link's dash attack is actually very strong. It hits almost, if not harder, than a smash attack. Um, I'm not fully sure. However, definitely a high percentage Bayonetta will more than likely uh, not be prepared for that, especially when she's focused on a shield poking and shield stabbing. We're trying to get the Ness out of the shield above her. Really wants to get that Ness killed. Can't have Ness there. The problem here with this team comp is with Rob. Rob has very good, Rob and Bayonetta both have very good like upward attacks. Rob can always recover upward, and then his up air and his up tilt are extremely strong. You just saw a, I, while I was explaining all of the platforms, you actually saw him get below Bayonetta and then get down smash, which causes him that stock. Gives them a really big stock lead. If Mike Effect ended up bringing this back, it would be very impressive. Good strong team combo coming out of the Rob up air, going right into the Bayonetta. Trying to get that zero to death combo started, but it doesn't really happen. Mike Effect's really just looking for anything he can. Really trying to hit that PK Thunder. Really wants the PK Thunder too here. Air Dodge is getting a little predictable. He's going to have to be careful later on if he actually wants to make this 2v1 happen. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage from, uh, from kind of almost range. There you go. Good shield. He's back on the stage. Gets immediately knocked off. Now he's going to have to fight for it. Really needs to find his stage. Trying to bait out like a, a laser. There's that PK Thunder too. Like I said, it's just getting very predictable. However, he did crab lead, so which time there it gives him a lot of invincibility frames. Ooh, good air dodge to dodge the Rob laser. Immediately gets topped. I believe it's called a gyro. Gyro. Depends on who you are. Ooh, very good tech roll to the right. Dodges that. Can't actually get the throw and then will die because of it. I think he just kind of assumed that it was over at that point. Good fist bump. It was a good game all around. Um, I'm going to actually step down for commentary. Um, thank you. Shout out to Taiki for stepping up. She just kind of asked if she wanted to commentate. And I said, of course you can. She's more than welcome to it. She sat down and started commentating. Um... And I'm going to go back to my computer where I will work the rest of this stuff. Thank you guys for listening.